we're at site 41. And I gotta say, this is a really nice site in contrast with say that pull through site right across the way. I mean, we have a really nice shaded and private site, very large, goes back in here, fits the truck and the camper. We have a 30 footer. Um, we have a 30 foot rig and it fits it really nice. Plenty of space. Um, and it's well shaded. Nice pad here if you want an additional tent. And it's just all forested back here. Our neighbor is through there. You can barely see them. A lot of privacy that way. And then they've got a little fire pit. Uh, somebody left extra wood. It completely rained last night. I doubt we would use it. There's some, it appears there's some game trails back in here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, young moons that can kind of co explore back in there. Um, and then even on this side, we have uh, some trees kind of uh, providing us shade and privacy. Um, backing in to the site, it was almost completely level. And it's 50 amp and 30 amp. Water pressure is okay. And so far, I would say this site, we, we've, we like it. The site is great. We are just not pleased with the policies. I gotta say from the very get go when we got here yesterday, uh, we came through, check-in time is at four, and the place where you check in was closed and we came in at 520. Well, usually you get a packet, it has some information about where to locate your site, it gives a layout of the state park and all that stuff, and there was no packet with our name on it for us. Um, we actually had to look up our reservations to find out what site number we were at, because we, we forgot, you know? And um, we were a little concerned uh, because we had no packet. We didn't know if they remembered that we were coming or if they had it in their system, but we pulled in and sure enough, our name was on the post and we got a parking tab, but we didn't get that packet that we normally would get that has the map and all the stuff that you would need for the trails and everything else. Um, also, uh, we decided after we got set up to go at least try to check out the place since we didn't have that packet, kind of explore on our own and find these things like the uh, boat launch and the beach area. It was not even sunset yet. Uh, it was seven o'clock and there's a gate that leads to that area and it was shut. You couldn't get to it. it. says it's open from dawn to dusk and that was closed. It was not even dusk. It wasn't even sunset. So uh, we were a little disappointed with that. Actually a lot disappointed because we had brought our kayaks and we like to go kayaking um, early in the morning and late in the evening because that's when it's prime fishing time. Anybody that likes to fish knows this and like Anna is known for its fishing. So we were just kind of like, wow, this is surprising. Um, and then today we thought, well, at least we can maybe go swimming and enjoy ourselves that way. Um, we went down and there is a fee and they don't make a secret of this. There is a fee for swimming. You get this little wristband and you can come back whenever during the day, but it was probably about uh, $4. And if you are a camper, I don't think there's any parking fee, but if you're not, there is a day use fee that you have to pay as well. Um, is minimal that's not a big deal but when we were setting up our canopy everybody was watching us do this and there's probably about three lifeguards and finally one of them came up to us and said is that a canopy and we said yes and mind you if you've seen it in the other videos it's a small beach canopy um, it's a low level canopy because it's meant to be laid under and it actually sits lower than a lot of umbrellas and they told us that we couldn't have canopies on the beach and it's interesting because if you look at my pictures you can have multiple umbrellas lined up next to each other you can even have a beach tent but you can't have a canopy which is really surprising to me and we just kind of went wow <laughs> uh we've been to other state parks where this isn't a problem everything opens late too that was the other thing you know even when we went to go try to get to the information center or to the check-in place to get a map and figure out where the boat launch is um, i'm sorry a kayak launch is so that we can maybe let off our kayaks different from the boat launch area maybe go fishing see if there's a fishing pier or something like that all those places didn't open until after 10. I think some of them were supposed to open at 9 but they didn't open until 10. I don't know it just is really everything just seems really late and closed off and you know not easy access and unenjoyable <laughs> it's just not our kind of place I mean after going to Jordan Lake 
oh, this place seems like a boot. We, we're leaving. We're not going to be able to enjoy ourselves. I can't even lay out on the beach with my canopy. I mean, that's my version of a, of an, it's, it's really not much bigger than two umbrellas stacked next to each other. And it actually sits lower than those. So if you're going to say you can't see over it, that's ridiculous. So I'm just, you know, I can't be out on the beach without getting sunburn right now. And I don't know. We're, we're just not pleased. So we give Lake Anna a boot. And even if we wanted to try to find another place to launch around here, you can't. Like, Anna is very residential. It doesn't have a lot of public use areas. So, no, I don't think we'll be back. Can't recommend it, guys. All right, so I need to make a couple of corrections because I wasn't aware as we're leaving. We're going home now. We tried to find a another campground to go to, but we did not have any luck. Is that right, sweetheart? No luck. And of course, you know, short notice like that, you gotta plan your camping trip six months in advance, which is kind of, you know, why it's so disappointing. Um, because it's not so much the money that, that we're out, because this lady was, the camp host came by and she was actually arguing with us as we were leaving. <laughs> I mean, granted, he's tough to deal with them and she's coming up and trying to tell you tell us to put our uh, parking permit on our truck so that we don't get a ticket and we're in the process of leaving because we're upset he probably wasn't very nice about it so when it came out and there was a arguing going on between the two of them and I can't believe she argued I mean really if people are upset let them let them just go or try to like de-escalate but this little lady <laughs> She was escalating. She really was. She, we were arguing about whether or not we knew that that parking pass was on the post because in most parks that we've been to, when we come in, we get a little pamphlet with our name on it and it has the parking pass in it along with all the maps and everything that shows you where to go. Now she explained that our parking pass, I believe, I don't know, whatever was on that post, we, we showed it down at the uh, snack bar where you paid for the the bands to go swimming that you would have not you wouldn't have to pay for the swimming down at the beach again things that we did not know it's not mentioned I got the pamphlets and that is not mentioned in there so there's no way to really know that without talking to somebody and I kindly explained that to her I was very calm because we were already gonna leave no point in, you know stirring up any kind of extra problems there but she wasn't having it and she basically said that we were stupid for not looking at the pool <laughs> And uh, I said that everybody knows this. And I said, no ma'am, um, that looks like there's one piece of paper on there. It didn't look like there was multiple. We thought it was just her name on the post, like a lot of places put. And um, she says, well, now you know. And she was asking us to stay. And she also confirmed another thing for us that we also didn't know. So for people that were interested, those gates, if you can get in before the gate closes, the gate will open for you to get out. So if you want to go for a sunset adventure, you can be in there, but um, you have to be in there before the seven o'clock when it closes and you, you just have to, it, the gate will open for you on your way out. But um, again, a big beef of ours and, and why we were leaving was because we couldn't have that canopy. We couldn't even enjoy our time on the beach and go swimming because, well, I don't have an umbrella. I don't have anything to shade me and I'm, I'm very fair. So anyway, we, again, did not particularly enjoy this campsite and this camp, well, it's the policies of the campground and this may be a great campground for a lot of people, but for us in particular, it just didn't mesh. So, um, <laughs> and he was really mad and that poor lady, God help her, she just made it worse. Anyway, um, all the best to those who like Lake Anna. For us, it's a no. 